Hello. In this video, we will test the original uh, GPS uh, patch antenna. And uh, here is the, the modified uh, antenna from the GPS. I uh, added the SMA connector high quality, so I can measure the, the performance. Actually, the, the antenna was uh, part of the uh, GPS unit I have in hand. And uh, this is the uh, RF front end, just uh, with the one stage amplifier, filter, and uh, then receiver SIRF uh, chipset. So the GPS is using only one preamplifier. It's more than enough to to reach the GPS signal. So this is the actually mounted uh, just below the antenna, and this is a plastic, but it's uh, it's a conductive layer. This is a conductive paint, so it's act as a patch antenna. This is a, a reflector, and this is a patch on a ceramic uh, substrate. So let's see <coughs> the return loss of the antenna. So this is the span from 300 uh, kilohertz up to 3 gigahertz. So 3 gigahertz span and return loss, and uh, automatically we can see that the antenna is resonant on uh, 1575 return loss uh, 19 dB, which is very good. We can uh, we can zoom to have a better uh, view of the. <coughs> of the uh, return loss of the patch antenna. Okay, we can reduce the span so the center frequency is 1575 decimal uh, 142 return loss 20 dB and the span is uh, 500 megahertz so it seems that antenna is working uh, really good it's matched really good for the for the GPS frequency And uh, in the next video, we will uh, we will compare this original GPS antenna with the homebrew patch antenna on the L band receiving the Inmarsat uh, just below uh, 1575. So, thanks for watching the testing of the GPS patch antenna 9A4 Queen Vector. Thank you.